Hello trainers and welcome to another episode of You Versus. That's right, today I have another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle for you. And today it is, I believe, another OU match. It's called OU and Below. It's the GBA yet again. This is going to be coming out a while, but I've got a ton of different matches and a ton of different teams to show you all. Because uh, these guys are all pretty good trainers in my opinion. And uh, we've got the owner of the Tennessee Hone Edges, Duffy versus the owner of the Kansas City Bay Leaves uh, as in-game name Schmexy, but the owner's name is Sunny. So, without further ado, let's take a look at their teams really quick. We see Duffy's got the Mew, the Rampardos, Lucario, Alomamola, Gardevoir, and the Victini. Very nice team. Uh, it seems very small, nothing too bulky except for that Mew I see. And uh, actually that Aloma Mola. Um, and then we have Schmexy who's got the uh, the Miss Magus, the Snorlax, Machamp, Golbat, Charizard, and the uh, Bellossom. I can't remember what Charizard, Mega Charizard that is. But I do know that is, I believe, a Mega Gardevoir on um, Duffy's team. So let's really get into this battle because I'm curious to see how they're going to play. Um, we already see that initiating this challenge we have Smexy who's body is may <laughs> sends out she devil the miss magius so very nice and we have question 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 mark question mark question mark huh as uh the uh as the mew comes out and the shadow ball comes straight off this mew doing a ton of damage the knockoff going right onto she devil knocking it out in one hit this must be an offensive mew variant of some sorts that is pretty good and we see the leftovers have fallen off the miss magius so turn one there's already a ko Charizard pulled in the double right there. I don't know if that was a misplay or just sent out another Pokemon. As also sent out Smexy, the Bellossom, the nice and shiny Bellossom. We all know how powerful Bellossom is on this channel if we have seen the uh, the Pokeology on it. As uh, he does <laughs> decide to switch out and go into Kanye West, the Alamomola. <laughs> As uh, Smexy does go with the Stun Spore. Ooh, very nice. And uh, Alamomola has set up the Wish to uh, go right into the Mew, I'm, switch I'm, I'm expecting to see that. The uh, the Bellossom does switch out into Golbat, which it does something that doesn't affect it. I'm assuming a ground type move as the Brave Bird is coming off from the Golbat onto this Alomomola and doing oh, absolutely nothing. Look at that. That was nothing. Kanye West goes for the knockoff and knocks off the Eviolite that is on Batsy. So this is a pretty... Well, even match right now. Both players are playing really well. And Batsy is coming back again. Sunny's doing a lot of switching, trying to keep up the uh, the unexpected moves coming from uh, on his side. But just staying calm with these wishes. Uh, looks like Duffy's doing a pretty decent job holding his own right now. As his Machamp Rocky is out here. I don't know what it's going to do. I'm expecting the Thunder Punch. But no, we just see Knockoff. Come on, and we see the Leftovers is now off on the Alomomola and is fully paralyzed. Unfortunately so, but that's not cool. But the wish came true, and its health is full. Um, the Dynamic Punch does come off, which is going to be interesting because we have a Parafusion coming on. Is this Alomomola gutsy enough to get through? Is Duffy good enough to, like, no, unfortunately not. Not good enough. I wanted to say brave enough to switch out or to stay in. But the dynamic punch is coming off again and doing a ton of damage. You have to break through this parafuse again. Not confused. Broke through the parafuse. There we go. Very nice. Good job, Duffy. As he does decide to switch out into his Mew, I'm expecting again. Wanting to get the... No, he's just getting HP back. So he goes in uh, Hayuna... Uh, but he does trace the Nogard, which is very nice and going to be very effective. Um, but the knockoff is coming through and doing a lot of damage. But the wish does come true and goes right into the Gardevoir's full health. As it does decide to Mega Evolve, not taking advantage of the Nogard that it has. But only one Pokemon on the field needs to have Nogard. As I'm assuming this Hyper Voice is about to come through and destroy this Machamp. Unless it's Assault Vested. Oh, even probably an assault. Oh, it was a critical hit. The critical hit probably mattered there if it was assault vested and at least somewhat, I believe, mostly invested in special defense. Um, as Smexy, the Blossom does come back out again. Probably going to try and get some sort of status condition on it. I'm assuming the Alomomola is coming back. Kanye West is back in action. Going to say, uh, hey, give me a moment. I'm, I'm going to let you finish, but you know, I got something to say. But the Giga Drains are coming off and interrupting Kanye West's speech. 
Oh no! Kanye West is down, the Alamomola is down. And uh, we see a switch into the Victini here. Interesting. We're going to go for the sub here. I guess he was expecting him to switch, but it's not doing anything as Smexy does go for the stun spore. But it's not doing anything to a substitute as Blue Flare does come off. We get this special Victini. Nice. An event Victini. And Belossum, I'm sorry, has been roasted to smithereens. I'm sorry, Flowers. I love you, but you got you had to go. There was no way you're going to stand against a blue, uh, a blue Flare. As Biggie Smalls... <laughs> I'm loving these nicknames. Biggie Smalls, the, uh, the Snorlax does come out and take a blue flare. Um, we already know that it's not Scarfed and it's Life Orb, so I don't know why. I guess that was his best move, but the Thick Fat is going to be doing a lot. I'm assuming that he doesn't have, like, V-Create or something, but a Stab V-Create, I... No, never mind. Blue Flare is a Fire-type move. I don't know why I was thinking it was anything else, but that was probably his best attacking move that he can do. I'm guessing he's hoping for a burn onto the Snorlax so it won't be doing so much damage to the rest of its team. But he doesn't seem to be getting the hacks that he wants. So the Body Slam is coming through again and he's probably going to get paralyzed or KO'd this turn. And nothing on either side. Interesting. Usually at least one set of hacks happens per Pokemon. For, with the both Pokemon are going for a move that has hacks on it. Unless Blue Flare doesn't cause burn. Huh. We'll find out in just a sec. Nope, nothing. As Biggie Smalls rests. Uh-oh. This Victini is now at 4 HP, and this Snorlax has now regained all the health that this Victini tried so hard to just take off. This is not okay. Duffy looks like he's in a tough spot here. He switches out and goes straight back into his Mew. I'm assuming trying to get some more damage off. Maybe he has Focus Blast. That would be even more interesting to see. But the sleep talk does come through, and I'm assuming... Oh, he got the rest again. That's unfortunate, but we do get the stealth rocks coming off from this Mew. So he set up his hazards, and he's ready to go. Um, and ready to make sure that anything else that comes out is going to be down. So the sleep talk does come off again, and maybe he gets another rest. Oh, no. Poor Sunny. Poor Smexy. The knockoff does come through, and the assault vest, no, the leftovers, I am sorry, is now off, and it has woken up. Biggie Smalls is awake and going for crunch, nomming onto the question marks. There we go. Ooh, holding on by 6 HP. The Zen headbutt does come through, and, and, ooh, no flinch, but the crunch is coming through and knocking out this Mew, so Duffy looks like he's in a tight spot as well. Sunny looks like he's in a tight spot too, but he's trying to hold his own, so... We're going to see what we can do here. We have Z Zidane or Zidane, Zidane going for the superpower on Biggie Smalls. And Biggie Smalls is now down. Unfortunately, Zidane's uh, attack and defense did drop because of the superpower, but that is okay. Duffy, I'm assuming, has some sort of plan. The Chow is out. is here. And uh, we... <laughs> He's unfortunately getting hurt really hard with those Stealth Rocks. Charizard Y is coming through too. So this is the mega evolution of the Charizard Y. Good to know for future reference for everybody in the GBA. Uh, to know who got who. Even though there's a list up for everyone. Um, the Drought is here. So we got another, uh, we got a sunny day coming through. And the Solar Beam comes off. And he goes to hit it fully charged in one turn. And to hit this Rampardos. I'm going to assume to the point where it's going to be knocked out. Oh, the 1 HP! He focus sashed it, and I'm assuming went for the rock slide. The plays are real. What is this? Oh my goodness! The Charizard is now down, and what is left on on Smexy's side? What is left on Sunny's side, except for Batsy? I don't believe there's anything else that uh, can be done here. And he outspeeds the Batsy, goes for the rock slide. And is gonna be able to take it down. That was such a good game. Coming right down to the clutch. Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. Good game you two. Duffy. Sunny. Fantastic battle guys. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did please be sure to like this video. And to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Because your support is always appreciated. Also, don't forget to check out in the description, I have the links to my social media. I have Facebook, I have Twitter, I have Instagram, and I have Twitch. I streamed last night? Yes? Was it last night? <laughs> I streamed at some point, and I, or am going to be streaming, slash currently streaming. I don't know what days are coming out anymore, I'm sorry guys. But, uh, we have another battle probably coming out tomorrow, hopefully, if I have another, uh, videos coming in, more battle codes coming in, that'd be great. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video 
If you did, please be sure to tell me in the comments what you liked most about it, what kind of plays were kind of cool. I was super excited to see the Focus Sash on the Rampardos. That's just me personally. But uh, without further ado, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of your day, your evening, your night. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.